Welcome to 12th standard. I am Mrs. Thongi, working as chemistry teacher in Sri Shivaji Vidya Mandir and Junior College, Aunt. So, as you all know, your syllabus has been revised this year and a new textbook has been introduced, which is this. And you all are aware of that. Now, the syllabus included in this new textbook is like this. It has total 16 lessons concerned with all the different branches of chemistry, out of which we are going to study the seventh chapter that is elements of group 16, 17 and 18. So for that periodic table is needed. So this is your periodic table. Periodic table consists of all the elements located in different groups and periods. The same elements are also classified in different blocks as S block, P block, D block and F block. Last year we have studied S block elements and this year we are going to study P block, D block and F block elements. Also in the 11th standard we have covered three groups of P block elements because in P, P block there are six groups together. The remaining three groups are covered in the 12th standard. Which are those? So those are 16th, 17th and 18th groups. So this year we are going to see or study about 16th elements. Those are in the 16th, 17th and 18th group. So all of these elements are called P block elements. Why they are called P block elements? The definition can be done like this. These are the elements in which the differentiating electron or the last electron is in the P orbital of the outermost shell. And we can easily see that. Pick up any element of the block right on the electronic configuration and you will see that the last electron is there in the P block. Now, out of these six groups, as I said, we have covered the first three groups, that is 13th group, 14th group and 15th group. Now, this year, we are going to study 16, 17 and 18 group elements. So, these are your groups. These groups are located to the extreme right of the periodic table in the P block. Now, they are recognized by different names. The 16th group is called as oxygen family as oxygen is the first member of the family. 17th group are called as halogens or it is a fluorine family and 18th group elements are noble gases. Now we will study simultaneously all the three groups. That means we will take single property and that we will compare all the three different groups. Now, so let us start with the properties of elements of group 16, 17 and 18. The first physical property which we are going to study is occurrence. Now, we start with 16 group. Now, 16 group elements are here. Which are those? The first one is oxygen. Second one is sulfur. Third one is selenium, fourth is tellurium, and the last one is polonium. Try to remember all these elements along with their atomic number because in the exam we might be asked the electronic configuration of these elements. So for that atomic number is needed. So try to remember the names as well as their atomic number. Now 16th elements, it is oxygen family as we know but these are also called as chalcogens. What does it mean? Chalcogens means ore forming elements. That means these elements in nature they occur in the form of ore. What is ore? Ore is a compound. So these elements you always get in compound form. Hence these are also called as chalcogens. Now the first member of the family is oxygen. We will see one by one in which form or in which compound form they occur in nature. The first member is oxygen. As we all know, it is the most abundant element on the earth. 
because it occurs in air as well as in the form of oxides in earth crust. So oxygen is the most abundant element. Now second element is sulfur. It occurs mainly in the combined form as sulfates as well as sulfides. In the sulfate form, the different ores are gypsum that is calcium sulfate, epsom that is magnesium sulfate, barite that is barium sulfate. And the, in the sulfide form, it occurs as galena that is lead sulfide, zinc blend that is zinc sulfide and copper pyrites which is a combination of copper and iron sulfide. So this is second member. Now, third and fourth member, that is selenium and tellurium. They are also found as metal selenides or metal tellurides in sulfidos. Now, the last member, that is polonium, which is a radioactive element. And as we all know, radioactive element, they, have, they are very short-lived. So, they don't occur in the nature. So, this is all about 16 group elements. Now, 17 group elements. Now, as I have already told you, they are collectively known as halogens. It is a Greek word. Halo means salt and gen means bond. That means all of these elements are salt producing elements. Halogens in the nature, they exist as in the form of salt because these are very reactive elements because they have very high electronegativities. And hence, they are react with another elements to form in salt. Hence, they are not found in pre-state in nature. Now, we'll see one by one again. The first member of the family is fluorine, which occurs mainly as insoluble fluorides. That means fluorospar, calcium fluoride, cryolide, that is sodium aluminum fluoride, fluorapatite is a somewhat complicated compound which is a combination of calcium phosphate as well as calcium fluoride this is all about first member second member is chlorine third is bromine and third, next is iodine so uh, seawater which contains mainly chlorides bromides and iodides of what of active metals active metals where are those located those are in the s block so, seawater mainly contains chlorides, bromides and iodides of sodium, potassium, magnesium, calcium like active metals. We all know, we all require table salt. What is table salt then? Table salt is sodium chloride. So, seabed mainly contain sodium chloride and carnalite that is potassium chloride, magnesium chloride in the large amount. So, this is about chlorine, bromine. What about iodine then? Iodine is present in marine life as well. So, chili saltpeter that contains about 0.2% of sodium iodide, which is again in the seabed. So, what about astatine? Astatine is the last member of halogen family and again it is radioactive, that is short-lived. So, this is all about 17 group elements and it, the occurrence of all those elements. Now, 18 group elements. These are called as noble gases. As all of these elements exist in nature in the gaseous state, hence they are called as noble gases. And what does noble means? These are called noble means because they exist in a monoatomic state. That means they don't combine with any other element as their last shell is fulfilled. Hence, they are called noble or inert gases. These elements are, first one is helium, then neon, argon, krypton, xenon and radon. In nature, they occur in the atmosphere about 1% by volume. That, uh, that contains argon as the major constituent. The main commercial source of helium is natural gas. Helium and neon are also found in minerals of radioactive origin like pitchblende, monazite, clevite, etc. Xenon and radon, the last members, are the rarest elements of the group and of that radon is a decay product of radium.
So students, this is all about the occurrence of group 16, 17 and 18 elements. We will see the physical and chemical properties of all these elements in the next lecture. So thank you all of you.